Hey friends, welcome to Django Model Analyst series. So, as part of this series, we have uh, we are discussing about the the Django model itself, right? And uh, last video we had discussed about the the Django model custom method, how we can have a custom method in our model. Also, we discussed about the having the uh, property decorator and how it really would help us to call the instance method and instance variable uh, in a in a fashion way, right? So, as part of this continuation, we can discuss about the overwriting um, save method. So, basically, how the Django model will work is whenever you create an object, right? It will um, it will prepare a couple of steps. Um, before save the object in database. So it will validate all the models and field. Also, it will check for any signals is available or not. Uh, forget about signals uh, for time being. Anyway, we're going to cover signals in later as per the series. But this is what the process will be. And that it will look for any signals and if there is any signals it will do the logic on the signals and then it will prepare the uh, insert statement or update statement based on the key id and it will update the or insert the record into the database so this is how uh, the save object it will a uh, save method it will work but some situation right we may need to uh, overwrite that save method so that is the uh, actual developer wants right the developer wants they have to be uh, play around with all existing stuff uh, with their own customized way in order to achieve his requirement right so that is why Django provides um, a specific manner you can override the save method as far as the model concern. So we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss about the how we can have our uh, own, or how we can override the save method and what are the steps it has in the save method. Okay, so let me move on to my uh, the models.py and um, as we saw earlier, we have our post uh, model, right? And uh, if you take our post block here, um, what I want have something like a, let's assume whenever I, um, whenever I want to, whenever I create the post, um, by default, I want to overwrite this post title name with something else, right? Um, but, but overwriting option, it's not available as a front end, right? As a UI, we cannot have that overwrite option. But as a backend developer, you can do the logic whatever we want, right? So what does it mean is, hey, whenever somebody has creating the object, taking the instance object and do the logic whatever I want, right? That is what the overriding concept. So in, when I want to save something, for example, um, I want to, um, when I save that, when I create that post, I want to have something like, let's learn. The post title, I want to concatenate the post title, something with a uh, title plus the, the channel name. So, let's learn. so how can I achieve that, right? So, of course, we can achieve by creating let's learn here, but um, we cannot um ask all the end users or all the 
post people we cannot say hey uh cat cat nate let's learn when you do the post right which is something we want to do it in a programmatic way that is where this overriding concept in order to use that overriding same method what we have to do is we have to go with uh defining the function um if you see i am under the uh the class post model and i have let me bring uh, under that uh, definite under str method and this will take self as instance because it's under the class and of course we have to um use the default arg and keyword arg because at any point of time django they will add many instance right so we have to be make sure um we we have to make sure use this uh, args and keyword args as part of our argument and um, and print and um i want to have some name called save so that we can see internal what is happening and we have to call a um, super class so basically um if you familiar with the python super class um then you you, you should understand the concept of super so basically it calling the um a given class itself if you're not familiar with super class so i would request you can you guys to take a look on um the python um here the part 2 inheritance super we had discussed about the uh, django custom generic view using the super class so that will give you a better understanding of why we have the super class in place in model so for at high level this will call um the base class or the self class whatever we are calling so you can have like this also but i don't want instead if you uh, providing without any parenthesis without any empty parenthesis then it will call the uh, respective class itself so and then i want to this save method which will call original uh, django save method though we are overriding same method but by uh, end of this a uh, call it will um this will trigger the django save method so we will see in action just in just a moment of course in order to provide that option we have to provide the um aux and uh, keyword aux and since we did, did changes something and uh, for a moment let me get it of this because i want to uh, show you real time example on this slug that's why i um i added here but i want to before jump into slug i want to show you uh, with a simple example here so since we change something we can do the make um clear my screen and we can do make migration Uh, Django models and uh, make migration and blow. What is the problem? Manage X Y. Um, <clears throat> I think it's problem in debugger. Um, you don't have any debugger so um, let me try to execute django models and python manage my make migration and block yes this time it worked what are its fixed 
would have been enabled. Make it the block name. So and then parents. A lip our service running. If I go back to that admin page or Django admin page, um, if I go to that one of the existing post, if I click on save and continue editing, it's saved, right? If I go back to the terminal, uh, do anything. Um, did I save my model? Yes. Right. Okay. Let me run save and continue again. Why it is not running the model? <clears throat> Let me take a look. So, what should I expect is basically when I do um save and continue editing it it should override this method this will call this method and uh, it will execute this print statement but somehow it is not running right so what we can do is hmm, do I need to use a self instance because this has to call with self instance, right? Let's try that. Now, if I do save and continue, it is throwing different error, duplicate entry. Yes, because Mm, we are we are trying to run the same uh, post with the uh, option. So what I'll do is let me try to instead of um, continue editing, let's try to use same method because it has a primary key. Um, let me try to create a new post, guys. So let's create block ten or block fifteen. Keep it everything as a default. If I type save and continue, if you go back my terminal, what we're seeing, it is returning the print statement. Though it doesn't do any logic, right? Because we haven't provided any logic, but um, it is updating the value, right? It is updating the value. Um, uh, or it, it's not updating, it's printing that save uh, command in the terminal, right? Th this is how the actually save method is overriding will call. So whenever you click on um, the save button here, so this will do all that uh, functionality. As I mentioned, it, right, it will do, uh, it will check for any pre-signal, post-signal, everything. And before uh, the save statement, it will execute um, the statement and then it will call the actual save method. So uh, this is how that the save overriding will work. Now let's try to uh, implement with a, some kind of logic. So let me try um, one more time. Save. If I save this because we will not able to uh, save any uh, same post again with the same record. That's why we are getting the same error. So, um, what else? validator? Um, okay, forget about that. Um, I don't want to change anything uh, with that, but. The other thing is, what I want to do is, let's assume, when I do the 
when I create the new post, right? Basically, um, I want to concatenate uh, my channel name like this before um, saving the post itself. So in order to achieve that, I can simply add so after the save has been triggered or, or clicked from the from the front end, right? Or, or object has been created. What you can do is hey, do self title equal to um, self title plus also what I want. I want to concatenate my string. Let's learn. So this will execute this print statement. Also, uh, my field name called title, right? In order to access my um, class field name, instance attribute, I have to use my self um, instance variable along with that my field name. And uh, whatever the instance we are getting, get that value plus uh, with the space, um, add this let's learn string also and call that actual super safe method. If I save this and uh, if I create block 16, let's choose Django. If I save, see block 16 has been created, right? Though I haven't provided um, the let's learn in my front end, I could able to overwrite my functionality using the override safe method, right? So this is super cool, right? So is this a right um, requirement to have uh, something override the safe method? I don't think so. Uh, but one of the valid requirements uh, in order to have the override save method uh, in the class, I would say slug. So let's take a look on slug. What slug is nothing nothing but um, it's like a um, let's go to the Django document. Let's say Django slug. Let's take a look what is all about slug. Um, okay, if you see the slug is nothing but whatever the um, sometimes you you might seen right uh, the the URL like uh, like this, basically the string will, will concatenate with a hyphen, right? That is, uh, that is all about having the slug requirement. For example, let's say I have my post um, title called block system, right? Somebody, um, if I created the blog website, if, if I, somebody click on my uh, post title, like block 16, I want my URL something like this block 16, right? Basically convert my string um, in a in a meaningful canonical URL, right? That is all about having the slug uh, in place in model. So um, so slug should be unique um, basically every time. It should not be unique in the, from the uh, out of the box perspective, but the way we want to utilize the slug field, it should be unique to handle that URL. So in our in our case, uh, the post title should be unique so that uh, every post should have a unique URL. Um, it will be a, have some meaningful name in order to have in, instead of having the uh, ID column, right? ID column is nothing but primary key. So instead of having the primary key, if I have this block um, 
post title that should have some meaningful uh, understanding human readable url right so that is the concept of having the url uh, slug field so let's take a look um, in order to uh, have the slug field you can have a slug name it's a field name and models and slug field so basically null equal to true blank equal to true because i want to um, allow um, blank null values for the database for time being but eventually in a production um, you should not allow slug as, as a null value so you have to come up with a own requirement to to um, to populate unique slug field for each individual object that will be a best uh, use 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 case okay now let's think about um let me uh, since we added the slug field what we have to do we have to do the make migration right let's do the make migration um and migrate and run server it's running if i refresh my page my post what what you are seeing we are seeing the slug field so basically what i want to do is um every time uh when i created the post automatically i want to create um the post um sorry um the url the slug field should be like this um so let's so i want uh, create the slug field like this so so basically in future if you think about uh, creating the blog website i can share my uh, post url something like this hey this is my blog and and uh, this is my post something like this right so this is the human readable um, understandable way of having the url right rather than having the id so this is something i want to create automatically when i save my object or when i save my uh, instance of an object um right so let's let's think about the uh, for a while if you already familiar with slugify slug slug free concept then it would be easy um easy to understand what i was trying to say about the having the canonical url or understanding url okay now in order to manipulate this value like changing the string to uh, with this underscore character there is a inbuilt method uh, inbuilt functionality is available in django called slugify so in order to use slugify you have to bring from django dot utils dot text import slugify so this slugify what will do is whatever the uh, string we are passing to that slugify method which will convert as a as a ascii ascii code basically uh, matches any slug string of ascii letters hyphen it will convert the string in a given um, format like with hyphen meaningful name so we'll take a look in uh, action so i have my self title a variable here what i want to do is hey now self dot slug because this is a slug field i want to update basically right this is a slug field i want to update so slug um self dot slug let me have a clean and neat uh, format here i want to call my slugify this is a method then i have to use slug dot title now if i save this and um refresh my page it went won't work because even if i do save and continue i will get an um 
to say um primary care but let's try try to save so still i am getting the primary care because that is different issue guys um we cannot allow the primary care on same number so let's think about um creating the new post block 17 so just think a moment what will happen when i click on save and continue i know what will happen so basically if once i click on the save and continue this will change into block 17 let's learn and this will change into block 17 block hyphen 17 hyphen let's learn that's what i'm expecting let's see if i click on save and continue wow right this uh updated the value as we expected right this is the uh one of the right requirement of having um overwriting the save method um in the class model though we have this overwriting concept method i would not recommend to use for all the situation the situation like this like using the slugify maybe uh, we can we can go with that option but um generally this is not a right approach to overwrite the method the model itself rather um we can use the pre save signal and post save signal that would um uh, that would be a most more appropriate way for handling the overwriting the method so but i hope you guys understand um of having the save method um how to overwrite the save method in in the model itself if you have any doubt just put in the comment section i will um help you on that when you get stuck on some bad okay we'll see you in next video okay next video we're going to discuss about the signals that is a pretty interesting topic right so um i'm also excited uh, to talk uh, discuss about the stuff we'll see you next video guys bye